It's a big night on the Hill. Two selection show watch parties, and that is where we find our CJ Macklin and Nick Petricioni outside of the Broyles Center, where guys, at a very exciting night for both the men and women. Very exciting night. You're right, Alyssa. It's time to go <laughs> dance. We're still dancing out here on the hill in front of Frank Royals Athletic Center. We're in, in the SEC club. Man, they were excited to they finally hit that day. And it came out what? In like three they minutes? They didn't have to wait long to figure out where they were going. <laughs> this is the quickest turnaround I've ever seen. But they were excited to see that name. They're taking on Vermont in the first round. And they'll be headed to cold Ooh, place. Yeah. <laughs> Buffalo, New York in the first round. But Coach Must knows his team. He faced them when he was at Nevada. You know, every game and every team's got a different identity and, and theme. And, you know, Vermont's well coached. We, we played against them at Nevada. Um, in the CBI tournament. They're really well coached. I mean, their coach does a phenomenal job. They space the floor. They have great shooting. We got to be the, the harder working team. We got to go into every game. We got to respect every opponent. Um, we had Colgate our first game last year, and they came out uh, really good in the first half. We just got to respect everybody. We got to start early and play, play all 40 minutes of basketball that night. You heard it there first. You got to respect them. They're not the only team that's going saucer and dancing in the NCAA tournament. There was another team that went right yeah. after them at 7 o'clock. Well, they had to wait. The they women to wait. did. Yeah. The men, it seemed like right away, boom, they're in the first was, bracket was nice called. All of a sudden, Greensboro in the women's bracket. All the way through, nothing yeah. going. Yeah. Next bracket, all the way through, nothing, nothing going. going. All of a sudden, all the seven seeds, the eight yeah. seeds, the nines were falling off the board. The women were thinking, where are we headed? Where are are we, we in the tournament? Yeah. I think yeah. they knew they were going to be in, but where was the yeah. question? Question. They get a 10 seed. They face Utah in Austin, where they play the NCAA tournament. Redemption. Last year, they were one and done. But for one Razorback, this is a homecoming in her final year, in her final games. Love the, this time of the year. Love that we're getting to go back to Austin and experience it without what we had to last year. We can actually go to 6th Street and take kids around the town and, and show them what Austin's all about. It was a great feeling. Going back home, um, family gets to be there one last time. Um, it's just a great feeling. I'm excited to go. I feel like it's going to be a redemption because that's where we ended last year. So I think going back this year is going to be a, it's great for us. You saw Amber Ramirez there calling her family Ooh. right when the announcement yeah. happened. I'm coming home. I'm playing home. You better get tickets to March Madness. Now, the men, the yeah. women dancing. Yeah. Arkansas, lead eight with the men. Yeah. Last year, the women upset in the first round by Wright State. So, yeah. I think, both I think they'll, they'll have redemption this year, the women. They'll have, they have fans, like you said, Ramirez. Mm -hmm. And she said her family hasn't come to games in a long, long time. So, to play in front of her family in Texas, it's going to be pretty March Madness is going to be crazy. Madness, fans, fans in the stands this time, in the stands. I can't wait.